Hey guys, how's it going? Just me and Esther 2 here with another video for you. And today we got yet another figure matchup. Shit just got real. Okay, and if you forgot what a figure matchup is, is where we bring two figures that are based on the same character made by two different companies and we match them up and go over every little detail and find out which is the better figure. Today we'll be taking a look at Black Cat. On this corner, we got from Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Black Cat. She was released in 2006. <laughs> And on this corner, we got from Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Infinite Series, Spider-Man, Black Cat. She was released in late 2013, slash early 2014. But yeah, we got two beautifully sculpted figures. Let's find out which one's better. Let's get started. Taking a look at accessories, up first we got from Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Black Cat. She comes with two accessories but I don't have one of them and that was the build a figure piece she came with the torso I believe to build the ultimate green goblin doesn't really count as an accessory but she came with it and it's not important her second accessory is actually for her and that is this right here her whip her actual whip and it looks pretty good we actually have some sculpting detail right here for the handle it's cool then we got the whole rope whips thing all the way down here pretty cool and we have some more detail for the the claws right here it's like whoosh. it's cool and it's actually painted another color surprisingly from Hasbro it's crazy it's uh it's slightly pre-posed like you see the way it is it's already waving in the wind so you can't do much you, know, you want to straighten out go ahead but it's gonna go right back but at least she has it and to place her whip into her hand it only goes in this hand the right hand because this side is a lot more opened so uh, you can get in there I guess but see it's going to fall off right away so it only goes in this hand so I'm going to put it in see how it goes yep because her fingers are pretty soft and flexible so yeah it's on there looks good and that's it for the Hasbro Marvel Legends and up next for accessories we have the Diamond Select Marvel Select Black Cat she comes with many. She comes with this safe. And it's awesome. Look at this. <laughs> it's really cool. A safe, you know, it could be from a bank. Or it could be from someone's private collection in their home. In a mansion somewhere. It has, uh, you know, four little pegs. So you can stand up. So you know where the bottom is. It had like these little, uh, actually sculpted on. I don't know what it is. I guess it represents the numbers, maybe when you're turning it you know and actually turns right here the steering wheel sculpted looks good and it steers it's cool and yes it opens up it opens up like that it's cool we got some accessories in there we got two slots so you got space for three different things Let's take a look at what's in here the safe comes with this it's a uh, it's a dividers I guess could you see it it's like white paper and it's got like the little tabs right here yeah, and actually, it's actually sculpted like there's more of them instead of just one. And it says Kevin Smith on it. Why? I have no idea. Is it because Kevin Smith sculpted this figure? I don't know. Did Kevin Smith draw Black Cat in this way in the comics back then? I'm not sure. I'm assuming he did. If you guys know, let me know because I would actually like to know. But yeah. And here is Black Cat holding the Kevin Smith folder here. <laughs> she also comes with this necklace. It's really small pearl necklace it is awesome I mean it's not a uh, bendy or nothing it doesn't move it's one piece that's because it's uh, it's meant to look like she's holding it with her finger and here is black cat holding the necklace looks good she also comes with this big ass diamond <laughs> it's huge and it's, it's cool it's like translucent plastic so it looks like it's actual diamond for a figure it looks good and actually has real metal on it See all this, this chain? It's really nice. 
And yes, you could put it around her neck if you'd like. You, you could uh, put on another figure. And yeah, you could put on her finger as well. And here is Black Cat holding the diamond as well. It's awesome. On second thought, maybe she can't wear the diamond. <laughs> you see I got it over her hair right here. So it doesn't actually look good. Here is in between her breast. So maybe if I snapped her head off, or you know, just pop it off, and then put it on, and then put the head back on, it might look good, but then again, it, it's really long, so it'll probably come down up to here. The last object in the safe is this. A bunch of money. <laughs> Six pieces of money. What do you call that? Wads? Wads of cash, I guess? Yeah. It's, uh, it's one piece. They don't come apart, so that kind of sucks. But no matter what, this is always going to look good in the safe or on like a desktop on the counter. It goes great with any piece of scenery. It looks good. Sculpted really nice and it's got a bunch of paint detail. It's awesome. She also comes with her own Spider-Man figure. <laughs> That's crazy. But um, he's pretty much a statue because he cannot move. He has zero points of articulation. That's because he's part of a diorama. But he looks good. Look at this. He sculpted really good. The webbing is individual all throughout. It's really nice. Right here on the symbol as well, his belt. His uh, his whole suit is actually sculpted like he's wearing tights. He's got the shoes as well sculpted in with the webbing, the hands, the suit, the mask. And uh, he's got some paint shading as well. He has the some black over the dark blue. It's really good. He does come with two peg holes right here. That's because he's part of a diorama that she comes with. And I'll show you right now. And here is the diorama. It's two pieces. comes with this wall and the floor. I've already connected it. So you don't you don't have to watch me you know, snap it in. But look at this. It's a really big wall. With all kinds of sculpting detail. For each individual brick. And has a bunch of paint detail on it. Makes it look real. It's awesome. Plus we got the window right here. Which does open and close. You can lift it open right here. Or you can have them both go down like this. <laughs> you see Black Cat through there. Turning it around, we get to see the inside. And look at this. We still got paint on the window. And the wall is actually flat and painted blue. To represent that it's indoors, you know. But yeah, looks good. Looks really good. And we got the floor actually sculpted as well. Sculpted and painted. Get the wood surface. It's really nice. What an awesome diorama. And yes, every single collector has this. Why? Because we use it for all kinds of things. I've seen people showcase their figures with this. They put their figure right here in the middle. Or they use the background over here. To have like, you know, to be in the background of a wall or an alley. All kinds of stuff. And yes, I know this. Not only have I seen it, but I use it as well. And as I mentioned, the peg holes in Spider-Man's feet, they go right here. These two pegs. You just snap them in and see how it looks. So connected here, let's take a look at him. And there he is, he's on the wall. Spider-Man crawling on the wall. And we all know what he's trying to look at, don't we? I think it looks great. That's awesome. It's a nice touch. This Spider-Man being all perverted. <laughs> The Marvel Select Black Cat does not have any peg holes on her feet. She just goes right in, as well as the the safe here. She just goes right on. And it looks great, look at this. This is an awesome display. And she can stand up just fine, so you don't have to worry about her falling down too much. So that's it for the accessories on the Diamond Select Marvel Select. And boy does it make Hasbro look bad. And now we'll be taking a look at the figure's sculpt, paint, and size. We have from Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Black Cat. And she looks really good. Look at this figure. It's impressive for a Legends figure. Because back in the day, most of the Toy Biz figures, the women, weren't that great looking on their face and their neck. And they had a few good ones, but a lot of bad ones too. And Hasbro, same thing. When they started making Legends, they sucked, the women. But they had a few good ones here and there. But as the years progressed, they got better and better. And this is proof right here. Black Cat. She looks good. Look at her face. Her face is pretty. She's got the mask sculpted and painted on. She's got lipstick. She has her uh, her necklace right there with the little logo, whatever it is. I don't know what you call it. 
and her suit is skin tight. Insane, look at this thing. It's got the white boots with the fur on it on the top. Same thing with the gloves, white gloves with the fur on it. They pretty much match her hair <coughs> due to the paint. Her um, her hair is white, but she has a bunch of blue shading on it, like a lot, a lot. The sculpting is really good, look at all this, it's crazy. But yeah, same thing, gloves are white, but the fur is uh, has some blue shading in it as well. It's got a lot in there, and the boots as well. White boots with the fur being has blue shading. Looks really good. She even has the heels. It's crazy, but they do uh, have a problem. When they get her to stand, they kind of become a pain in the ass. She does have this random number printed on her leg. I'm not sure why it's there. It's strange. Could have put it on the bottom of her feet. Why the hell not? She does have the fur right here with the paint shading as well. Right here by the breast. And the breasts are pretty big, actually. They stick out a lot. And they're not covered that much. She does have her uh, zipper right there. The part where you just pull down. But there's no sculpting to uh, how far it goes down. It's, it's just flat. Her skin tight suit is one color, just black. It's glossy black. There is uh, no shading whatsoever to speak of on the suit itself. The sculpting is really good. Look at her hips. They're pretty big. You can see her butt. Looks really good as well. Damn. It's a really good sculpting. Look at that. It's insane. Her hands are sculpted with the claws. You know, like she has nails. This one's an open gripped. And this one has actual gripped, like tighter for her whip. I noticed that the only sculpting detail she has that makes it look like she's actually wearing tights is uh, right here on her arm. A little bit right here on her top. Top part and a little bit on her legs, just ever so slightly. And that's about it. Her height is about six inches exactly, maybe slightly more, but not really. Let's bring in some figures to compare her. And here she is next to some female figures. Here we have from Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, Elektra. And here we have from DC Direct, Wonder Woman Series 1, Wonder Woman herself. So she goes good with both figures actually. Black Cat a little bit tall due to her heels. So that's why she's a little bit taller than Elektra, but that's not bad. Being shorter than Wonder Woman, that's fine because Wonder Woman is a big woman. She's tall and she's strong. So that was just fine for me. Here we got some more female figures. We got from Mattel, DC Universe Classics, Starfire. And from Jack Specifics, WWE, Classic Superstars, Sunny. So she goes just fine with the DC figures of Mattel. But a little too small for the wrestling figures. Here is the Legends Black Cat next to some male figures. Here we have also from the same line as Black Cat, Hasbro Marvel Legends, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. So they go together pretty good, but I think Black Cat might be a little bit taller due to the heels. Here's from Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Ultron. Classic. So he towers over Black Cat, which could be debatable. So it's really up to you on that. And here she is next to some more male figures. Here we got from NECA, Kick-Ass 2, Kick-Ass himself. And from Playmates, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Classics, 1990 movie, Raphael. So she's too short for NECA figures. I mean, you could debate that Kick-Ass is taller, but... Now she's going to be, to kick ass is almost the same height as most NECA, you know, human characters. So they're all going to be taller than Black Cat. And for Raphael, I guess that works. I mean, he's supposed to be shorter than uh, regular humans, but I guess it could work. Articulation wise, this is where the Legends destroys the Select. She has a ball jointed head, but not much movement due to the, the hair sculpting. Because the hair is hard plastic. It has no real flexibility, like, like it kind of moves or whatever, but it's pretty thick. So all I can do with their head is uh, slightly turn it this way, and slightly that way. Yeah. So she can't go up at all, even though it looks like she could, because look at that space right there. Right there? So why can't I go up? Because right here, the hair on the shoulders. So can I look down? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so, move this arm pin socket the shoulders so she can go up all the way around if she wanted to side to side like that no bicep swivel single jointed hinge at the elbow right there but you don't get much out of it just a little bit swivel right here at the elbow so that, that'll count for the bicep swivel right there and swivel at the wrist plus a hinge which is pretty well hidden actually 
Ah, it's so hard to see it. I don't even know. It's on the sides actually, that's why. So it moves, yeah. Okay, and the diaphragm joint right there. So no waist twist, it's all right here on the torso. So what she can do, oh, and the head pops off easily through the hair. So you can go like this, side to side, just fine. And you can go up and down. So that kind of helps out with the fact that she can't look up or down. So she can go up. She can't go down actually, just slightly I guess. Yeah, just a little bit. So you can go up, a little bit down, swivel left and right. And like, go to like this. <laughs> Tilt. And the hips right here, they are on a pin and socket as well. Or, not really sure yet. Let's find out. She can go this high up for the leg. Can I go back at all due to the sculpting on her ass? So yeah, side to side, not much at all. That's, that really sucks. I guess because they made her hips so big, so that's as far as I can get her splits right here. That's it. Upper thigh cut right there. And single, double jointed knee right there. So that's cool. It's ratcheted actually. Still good movement. Nothing in the boot or the shin, but right here at the ankle right there. Go up and back. And the ankle rocker. Well, it's more of a swivel than an actual rocker. Yeah. And looking at the sculpt paint and size of the select here, we have Black Cat. And she looks good. She looks really good, actually. She's uh, slightly pre-posed, but at least it's in a good pose, right? Yeah, it looks good. The one thing I've noticed she has that the other Black Cat doesn't is uh, she has fur in other parts, like right here on her arm. Yeah, from her forearm, from her wrist to her elbow. All the way down. Same thing on this side and down here on the legs as well. So that's cool. It's like a different design. So she doesn't have the white boots either though. Or the gloves. Gloves are black. She has this one suit all the way down. It's like pajamas almost. She doesn't have any heels either. Just her uh, feet like slippers in there. And her face. Does her face look good? I'd say yeah. But she doesn't look as thin as the Hasbro Marvel Legends one. I guess because she's a bigger figure. So that's the reason why. She's got the mask sculpted and painted as well. Her eyes look good. Not bad. Lipstick as well. She's got the uh, the necklace as well. With the little metal piece on it. it. Looks like it has one piece more than the Hasbro one. Like just like connecting the, the metal to the strap. The other one didn't have it. Anyways, her hair is white. So is all the fur. But it does have a little bit of shading. Her hair is uh, has a little bit of like dark blue and uh, not sure. I don't think it's gray. Can't really tell what it is. But the sculpting looks good. Look at the back. If anything, her hair looks like something out of Sailor Moon. <laughs> it's got a little bit of shading on the fur down here as well. She has a fur on her chest as well, but not much shading on it. And the breasts are sculpted really nice. They're, they stand out a lot more. And the Hasbro one actually. She has the zipper sculpted in right here for her suit and it actually goes all the way down like a realistic suit. The Hasbro one didn't have it. But yeah and the zippers actually pulled down a lot lower than the Hasbro one. It's crazy. The breasts are really large. Anyways, suit is has actual shading on it. It's all black but also has this dark blue to it. And it goes throughout. And it looks really good. I like it. It's cool. The sculpting on the body is really nice as well. You can see her butt right here. It's nice. Like I said, she is slightly pre-posed. Seeing her leg here, this one's straight, but this one is not. This one's, because her hip is kind of going this way. So this one, uh, her knee is a little bit bent. And her, her heel is going up. So she's standing on her toe. Pretty much. She has this weird thing right here on her mask. Right here in the middle. I'm not really sure why. I've always wondered that all the select black hats have it. I'm not sure that's part of the design or what. Her height is about six and a half inches tall. Let's do a size comparison. And here she is next to the same female figures I had earlier. We got Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, Electra, and DC Direct Wonder Woman. As you can see, she's a little bit too tall and massive for Electra. That just doesn't really work. But she goes just fine with Wonder Woman here. 
That's fine, I got no problem with that. Here we got her next to the rest of the female figures. Jack Specifics, WWE Classic Superstar Sunny. So once again, she's a little too big for the 6 inch scale. Look at Starfire, she's being towered by Black Cat here. But she seems to work pretty good with the Jax figures of female wrestlers. Here we have Black Cat next to the also Marvel Select Ultron and that works, why not? But too large for the Hasbro Spider-Man. That's not gonna work. And here she is next to some more male characters. Here we got from NECA, Kick-Ass 2, Kick-Ass himself. And from Playmates, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie, Raphael. That works pretty good actually. Marvel Select Black Cat goes just fine with NECA figures and the new Playmates line. Articulation wise, this is where the Select kind of suffers. So she has a ball jointed head, but can't get much movement out of it. So she can swivel left and right. She can't go up at all. Well, sort of, yeah. Can she go down? Nah, not really. So she can swivel, but she's hindered due to the hair. So maybe if I move the hair, it'll work a little more, yeah. Just a little bit. But it's not going to turn this side much at all. Like, well, I guess it, it can get a decent amount. The hair hinders on the shoulders. The hair is, uh, it's kind of thick. Not as thick as the Hasbro one. Okay, shoulders are a pin socket actually, so they can go all the way up on a swivel, go all the way down, side to side as well, so bicep swivel in the middle, and hit swivel on the hand as well. Hand is gripped right right open. Same thing on this arm, you know, pin and socket, bicep swivel, swivel is kind of bent, swivel at the wrist right here, with the finger sticking out. Swivel at the waist, right there. When you do that, you break the zipper, so that kind of sucks. And V cuts right here on her legs, so you can do this. That doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess it helps to adjust her when she's standing, but it doesn't really do much. It doesn't help at all. And that's it. And comparing the chest of both figures, you can see the select one has a lot more revealing and a bigger rack. It's insane. And so the final verdict, who wins? I don't know, this is a hard one. This is really tough. You would think I would say Hasbro Marvel Legends. Why? Because she has more articulation and she goes better with the Legends. But to be honest, look at she's on this stand right here because she can't stand for shit. You have no idea how long it took to get her in this stance right here. It's really annoying. And then Diamond Select, Marvel Select has no articulation. She has some but not much. But look at all the great stuff she comes with. It's awesome. You can use it for anything else other than Black Cat as well. The sculpt is top notch. The paint, it's a work of art. The Legends figure is really good though, so uh, this is a tough one. They both go in different scales. They don't really go with each other's scales. This is a tough one, guys. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm going to have to choose one. Or what the hell am I going to do? The winner is... Both of them. We have a Tide. A tide. I know guys, I just couldn't decide which one was better. Of course both are in different scales and different articulation, but also different detail, different accessories. It just goes both ways. One has something better than the other, and the other has something better than the other. It just goes back and forth. So with that, I'm gonna have to call it a tide. They're both really great figures. Sculpted really good, painted very nicely. They both bring something good to the table. So I'm gonna say keep the legends with the other legends and all the other 6 inch scale and keep the select with all the other selects and everything else with the 7 inch scale so yeah, we have a tie what do you think guys? do you agree with my choice? or would you have chosen one over the other? whatever it is, just comment below guys I'll be glad to hear from you I hope to see you in the next video alright, thanks for watching